वेलकम टू आवर चैनल मेडिकोस लर्निंग डेक्स हेयर वी विल डिस्कस इजी निमोनिक्स हाई एल टॉपिक्स एंड इंटीग्रेटेड रिविजन ऑफ टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू मेडिसिन सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज एनास्थेटिक एजेंट्स वी विल सी ऑल द एनास्थेटिक एजेंट्स ब्रीफली हाउ दे आर यूज एंड वट आर द मेजर इंडिकेशन ऑफ दोज ड्रग्स ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट कमिंग टू फर्स्ट कमिंग टू इंट्रोवेनस एनास्थेटिक्स दैट इज इंट्रोवेनस एनास्थेटिक्स विच विल इंक्लूड थायोपेंटोन प्रोपोफॉल कीटामिन एंड एटोमिडेन ओके सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी वॉट वॉट आर द मेन एजेंट ऑफ चॉइस वेर इट इज यूज एंड ऑल्सो सम साइड इफेक्ट्स एंड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ द ड्रग ओके सो फर्स्ट थायोपेंटोन विल कॉज हाई पोटेंशन एंड टैकी कार्डिया दैट इज इट विल डिक्रीज द बी पी एंड इंक्रीज द पल्स रेट इंक्रीज द पल्स रेट प्रोपोफॉल विल कॉज डिक्रीज इन बोथ बी पी एंड हाई पोटेंशन पल्स रेट सो इट विल कॉज हाई पोटेंशन एंड प्रैडी कार्डिया हाई पोटेंशन एंड प्रैडी कार्डिया कीटामिन विल कॉज इंक्रीज इन बोथ बी पी एंड पल्स रेट सो इट विल कॉज हाइपर टेंशन एंड टैकी कार्डिया and etomidate is most cardio stable agent so the most cardio stable intravenous anesthetic is etomidate etomidate so now see where it is the agent of choice agent of choice or anesthetic agent of choice where uh, it is indicated propofol is anesthetic uh, agent of choice in laryngeal mask airway insertion laryngeal mask airway insertion and also in day care surgeries in day care surgeries is uh, the choice agent of choice is propofol in shock patients and hypovolemic patients the agent of choice will be ketamine because it will increase both the bp and the pulse rate so in shock patient and hypovolemic patients we can use this ketamine it is also the agent of choice in asthma and copd patient and also if the patient comes in full stomach that is no prior nbm is followed that is full stomach patients and also in cyanotic heart disease where there is left right to left shunt cyanotic heart disease or left right to left shunt is present for all this for all this ketamine is the agent of choice now coming for patients with cardiac causes that is cardiac surgery or cabg patient or thorax surgery has been done or ptca has been done or aortic aneurysm surgery has been done so all this in all this agent of choice will be etomidate why because it is the most cardio stable iv agent that is it don't have much of effect on the bp or pulse rate of the patient so it will not affect this to so it is the most cardio stable agent so in all these cardiac surgery cabg patient and thorax surgery aortic aneurysm ptca for all this the agent of choice will be etomidate okay now coming to inhalational agents coming to inhalational agents first is isoflurane isoflurane sevoflurane desflurane enflurane and methoxy fluorine and also halothen so la, uh, let's see isoflurane is the agent of choice in neurosurgery patient cardiac surgeries controlled hypotension is needed or pheochromocytoma or cardiac disease so in all this isoflurane is the inhalational agent of choice inhalational agent of choice in induction of surgery or day care surgery in children in liver disease and asthmatics the agent of choice that is inhalational agent of choice will be sevoflurane sevoflurane in day care surgery in adults the agent of choice will be desflurane desflurane 
also in old age patient in obese patient and in renal disease patient the agent of choice is desflurane desflurane because it will have fast induction and fast recovery so in day care surgeries it can be used and also in renal diseases we can use desflurane so again let's revise that is in cardiac surgeries neurosurgeries isoflurane will be used isoflurane will be used in liver disease or asthmatic patients or in children the choice will be sevoflurane sevoflurane whereas in day care surgery in adults and renal diseases the agent of choice will be inhalational agent of choice will be desflurane desflurane now coming to some important points like most epileptogenic inhalational agent is enfludan so epileptic and enfludan e for e e for e most epileptogenic will be enfludan most nephrotoxic is methoxyfluran methoxyfluran most hepatotoxic is halothen halothen is most hepatotoxic most potent will be methoxyfluran methoxyfluran then comes halothen then isofluran then sevofluran and then desfluran and the least potent is a uh, nitrous oxide nitrous oxide will be least potent and most potent is methoxyfluran so here it is there is a mnemonic that is mahinder singh dhoni mahi mahi singh dhoni okay so according to this the speed of induction and recovery will increase that is in methoxyfluran the time of induction and time taken for recovery will be will be very high but whereas in desfluran desfluran sevofluran desfluran there will be fast induction and fast recovery okay so m stand for ma stands for methoxyfluran then h stand for halothen i stand for isofluran s for sevofluran and last is desfluran last is desfluran so desfluran will have fast induction and fast recovery okay so the mnemonic is mahinder singh dhoni mahinder singh dhoni that is mahi sd okay now coming to muscle relaxants muscle relaxants will be muscle relaxants will be vacuronium rocuronium pancurium atracurium mevacurium okay so now let's see where where are these indicated before that the most common muscle relaxant used for routine surgeries are vacuronium vacuronium the only muscle relaxant which can be given im is rocuronium rocuronium and only non depolarizing muscle relaxant which does not treat reversal is mevacurium the depolarizing muscle relaxant we know is succinylcholine succinylcholine but uh, the only non depolarizing muscle relaxant which does not treat reversal will be mevacurium mevacurium so now let's see where are this indicated okay for cardiac surgeries the muscle relaxant of choice will be vacuronium vacuronium in full stomach patient that is where nbm is not followed for the patient there the uh, agent of choice will be rocuronium because it can be given im also it can be given im also so the agent of choice will be rocuronium rocuronium in shock and hypotension patient shock and hypotension patient the agent of choice is pancuronium pancuronium in renal failure in hepatic failure in pediatric patient and also old age patient the agent of choice is atracurium atracurium in day care surgeries the agent of choice will be mevacurium because it don't need any reversal so in day care surgery the agent of choice will be mevacurium mevacurium now 
some other important points about muscle relaxant the muscle relaxant which undergoes hoffman elimination hoffman elimination is atracorium atracorium you saw here you saw here this atracorium it undergoes it undergoes hoffman elimination hoffman elimination muscle relaxant which causes maximum histamine release maximum histamine release it is d turbo curarin d turbo curarin and which causes minimum histamine release is vecuronium vecuronium the muscle relaxant of choice in renal failure patient and hepatic failure patient is atracurium atracurium and in bronchial asthma which muscle relaxant can be used atracurium and vecuronium atracurium and vecuronium the muscle relaxant which is contraindicated which cannot be used in pregnancy is galamin galamin this is very important mcq it sucks very often muscle relaxant which is contraindicated in pregnancy is galamin the muscle relaxant which is contraindicated in hepatic failure and renal failure hepatic failure and renal failure is d turbo curarin and pancuronium pancuronium and d turbo curarin thank you for watching I hope you found this video helpful. Do like, share and subscribe to this channel to get more videos of this kind.